Hey guys, um, here's an interesting video for you. This is episode one. Sorry, you're gonna have to be in more. I'm with Cow, and we're on the Enterprise V. Hello. On Trekcraft. We're gonna be listening to this fine Canadian talk about what we. I just joined the project, not just recently, but we're gonna hand the baton over to him. Because he's yeah, so, kind of spearheaded it. Uh, yeah, so basically we started building a, uh, a Galaxy class on server. Um, as most people know, that's the one from the uh, the Starship from TNG, the uh, Enterprise D was. Um, we are not building the Enterprise D, however. We are building the uh, USS Galaxy, which is a prototype Galaxy class. It, it's the uh, I think it's the first one, right? It's the same thing, it just has a different name on the front. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this uh yeah, this is a ten four. Me and me and uh, I panic built this the other night. Tried to kinda replicate it the best I could from the uh drawings and like the stage nine stuff. Looks pretty good. Uh it's not deck ten is not built yet um yet, but we are uh uh -oh. we just kinda wanted to build up some of the key areas. There's a hole here. There's a hole here. Here, I'll, I'll write it down so oh, they don't forget about that's it. That's weird. Hoping to redo this actually, give it the uh, a more C and B look eventually. Perfect. Mm. Well, yeah, I guess uh, let's just go show everybody the uh, the rest of the ship here. Oh, lag spike! I'm frozen. Let me get. Let me perform some CPR. There you go. <laughs> there we go. So Let's... yeah, the uh, the ship's getting built in two halves right now. Um, saucer and star drive. Um, saucer section is not built yet. It's just kind of the base model and shapes and stuff. So that'll get done later on into the project. We'll and get there eventually. The... There we go. Yeah, exactly. At some point. And then, yeah, this is the star drive. So this is where she's at right now. Um, most of the, the main details are in at this point. There you are. What's your flying speed at? Uh, uh, ten right now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll I'll go down to like six here. That'll be a little easier to. So yeah, um, like I said, just a few details on the outside right now. Um, ship still needs to be Aztec, and uh, a few of the uh, hull details need to be added still, but she's pretty much good enough to get built in now, which we've kind of started doing. Yeah. Um, I'm getting some main and gnarly lag spikes. I think it's because I'm recording. Oh, no, it's because I have 57 render distance. Oh. <laughs> Something's a bit funny here. Yeah, that's probably why I was having lag spikes. I was trying to render as much as I humanly could. The other day, Cal and I um, moved the Simples engine up like four blocks, was it? Yeah, to match yeah up about four with blocks. The deck plans. The deck plans are great, but not perfect. Yeah, we, we had to do the same thing with the uh, shuttle bays. All three shuttle bays had to just be moved down about... I think this one was a deck down because it didn't line up with uh, anything in the ship when we were laying in all the... Uh, deck heights and whatnot. Let's go to the top. That's that's the most built out area. Yeah, the Cobra Head's probably the most complete thing so far. Um, it's got its phaser spare pit sensors, its pods in. Um, pretty much the only thing it doesn't have in at this point is the docking clamps. Haven't uh, We haven't built those yet, but everything else is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm vibing with these sensor, sensor pads here. I actually based these off a uh, 
I can't remember. So, somebody had a model online that I came across, and it was really done up really quite nice, and I basically replicated the shapes they created for that. It was probably Alex. I, it probably was, honestly. It looked very Plan. similar to this model. Here's our impulse reactors here. We just did these like an hour ago. Literally. Um, of course, still working out a few details in them with like everything else that's going to be built, but reactors are good to go, so that's one thing down. It's a very slow process. Very. Oh, did you uh, did you see these fill ports I did a while back? Um, these ones? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed them. They're pretty cool. These Star Wars blocks really help work. Yeah, honestly, they do. The, the, the block selection has been really good. I'm hoping to do... Um, um, if you... Go ahead. Oh, uh, if you... Um... If you turn gamma bright off too, you can actually see all the uh, all the glows in the nacelle and the impulse engine. Oh, here. I think there's a few little lighting bugs from World Edit. Nothing to see here. <laughs> uh, these uh, these grills were hand built as well. There's literally nothing of the 3D model left here. I basically cut it all out with World Edit and just kind of filled in and shaped it by hand to kind of match the shape of the 3D hull. Yeah, it's a lot of detail. It's not going to import well. I'll give Minecraft some credit. They're, the lighting is not bad for what it is. That's true. Yeah, let's let's see what your build yarn's going on in here. There's a lot of new textures for us to play with. Pan has been really? going completely mental with all these new textures. Like here's some like the uh, new transporter blocks and everything. Who did this? Was this you? Yeah, I built this one. This is a lot of fun. I like this. Oop, my spikes. Cal did this. Then we had to tell him that I was gonna. Go bye bye in one sixteen. Sad cow. I'll probably end up rebuilding it at, at, in the new version properly because if you notice, it's like an eight person pad, not a six person pad. Minecraft doesn't like kicks again, so. No, it doesn't. I I, I did I, I I screwed up though on the shape initially anyway, but I mean looking back at it, it's kind of cool. Here is a, four core. Not sure who did that one. Also me on this one, I built Ooh. the, uh, yeah, pretty much the whole thing. I have to do a little update of the D every week or so, really to get back in the game here. Yeah. Since I'm at school, it's a lot easier. I have like five videos in the works right now, well, recorded of the Saber, but I'm just going to scrap them all and just do one big build update, because I have That's fair. four decks done. In my last video, I was work. I was still mapping out deck two. All right, let's go. I, I did. I did edit your RCS thrusters a little bit. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I kept your overall uh, color choices and everything, and I just kind of shaped it more than anything. There's a hole in here. Something. Uh... You done forked yeah. up? I done forked up. All right, here's the inside. We've been working hard on this stuff. Yeah, it's been it's been actually quite a bit of fun planning this out. Let me open up the plans here so they can see what's going on. I don't have the right plans open. There we go. <laughs> Deck fifteen to twenty-five. There we go. Yeah, we're currently on deck twenty. Two is yep. what we just finished right here. And good. we've uh, we've actually started in the middle of the ship on the uh, star drive section. Um, probably sounds crazy to do, but basically the logic for that was um, 
we had a really good reference point with the torpedo tube where, you know, basically docking port stuff would match up on the plans. So it was just a kind of a, I don't know, a logical um, spot to start in the ship to kind of get a good scale of everything. This is basically the center of the ship. The yeah. operational center where people depart and stuff like that. It's pretty important. A lot of engineering labs and systems rooms and stuff like that. We got some surge protectors. We all know what those do. <laughs> I'm not going to let anyone tell me it's a different technology. It totally is not. No, exactly. Here's the impulse bay that Cal was working on when I was AFK. It's kind of built some wall textures, basically. Uh, started building a little control area up here and for the corresponding room behind it. Pretty... Trying to capture the, kind of the uh, the look of the the original sets from like the early seasons of the show. Let's see. Where is where's those escape pods at? Uh, I think we got rid of those ones because we had to make um, a few changes to size and stuff like that. Because there's actually two types of escape pods. Well, three types on this ship. That's depressing. They were so types. nice. Yeah. <laughs> We got crew quarters along the edges here. A weird green room. I put that in there. I don't know what it does. It was on the plans. It's it's just a thing. Some kind of alcove, whatever. Yeah, I think it's some sort of like little office or storage area or something like that. We're in uncharted waters here. Our turbulence are now four wide. This is a lot of fun. I'm lying. It's not. <laughs> They're definitely uh, larger than normal, that's for sure. Antimatter pods, uh, matter thing to just um, up here in this area. Yeah. You can see it right here. Yeah, this uh, orange outline right here marks out the main deuterium tank. Got deflector here. Um, what else? There's not a lot in here planned out yet. No, a, lo a lot of it's just basic shapes right now. Um, a lot of it will probably change a little based on the deck plans as well. What's this guy? <clears throat> um, I don't think I added... Oh, I think I was testing window height right here, because I was trying to see where things would line up from before. Uh, and then this actually matches up to be deck 36, right? And it all matches up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This This will actually be the correct deck for main engineering. That is good. Here, I'm going to pull up the side cutaway here. This is the first one. And I think yeah. in terms of exterior details, the uh, star drive now has all of its phaser strips as well. This is deck 36 right here. Goes to engineering. It's the big pylon thing. The biggest deck in main the uh, engineering hall. Basically the hell deck of uh, of the star drive section. <laughs> oh, the hell deck of the primary hull is no joke. Here, here's a good example of just how big this thing is. Oh yeah, when you stand here, it uh, definitely feels huge. Deck 10? <laughs> like... There you go, there's deck 10. 10 forward is up here. Or in Picard, it's over here. In Picard, was it on the left or the right? I don't remember. I can't remember. Oh, you know what is fun, though? we uh, Because we're building the neck, actually, we get to build the auxiliary captain's quarters. Ten slightly forward. That's the running joke around here. Where's the auxiliary quarters? Uh, the auxiliary captain's quarters will be in, the, in one of the decks we're coming up to build in the neck. I just saw them on the plans. Uh, what deck was it? I actually have them up right now. Probably like 21 or 20, if it's close. I'm pretty sure we're like very close to building it. Oh yeah, it's on deck 20. 
that close. Let's find a picture. And it's essentially here. the exact same layout as the saucer one. Oh, I found it right here. Huge. It just has different windows. Yeah. So I assume they have those there in case the ship gets separated or as an alternate choice for the captain's preferred view of quarters. So like if you imagine the, the captain gets to choose his quarters on the ship based on certain group types. It's called royalty. Shit. Okay. Can you think of anything else, Cal? I'm hoping to do um, another episode next week. Yeah, I don't know. That's there's not a whole lot going on with her aside from just deck plan and stuff right now. Ignore the line. You know, it's a boo boo on both of our parts. We have to fix that. Yeah. Let's see. I feel like there's more. Oh, um... Maybe there isn't. You know what? I'm just gonna go over there. Dre happy. Dre wants to show off his meme. <laughs> being being a you in the vid with with your uh, I see they're, they're pulling their classic enterprise ship. video where decks line up into windows. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun. <laughs> Let's put Neil like some command here. Oh, water in the turbo lifts, classic. <laughs> there we go. Well, Beautiful. let's do our little outro here. See you later, guys. Sorry, Alex. And...